former prime minister was uh, standing along the side of a road. He was giving a campaign speech. Uh, this Sunday is uh, a major national election, the House of Councillors election, which is sort of like the Japanese Senate. Uh, and he was giving uh, a normal political speech, uh, as, is, as is done routinely in Japan in this period. Uh, and a man approached him from behind, uh, fired apparently three shots, although that still needs to be finally confirmed. White smoke came from whatever sort of gun he was using. We don't know quite what the weapon was at this point. Uh, and the, 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 the suspect, the man who did the firing, uh, was quickly arrested. Uh, but the former prime minister went down hard. Uh, there's pictures of him basically lying flat on the ground. Uh, he was taken to the hospital. Uh, it's, he's being described as being in cardiac arrest, which uh, normally in the Japanese media, when they say, when they use the, the term they use, it means that his heart has stopped, but he has not been con uh, sort of officially confirmed dead yet. But that's, uh, that's, he's either, he is either dead or, or in very, very bad shape. Michael, what more can you tell us about the context surrounding this incident? Why would someone want to target Shinzo Abe? Well, Shinzo Abe at the moment does not hold any official uh, government position, uh, but he is the uh, head of the largest faction, mm -hmm. the dominant faction of the ruling party. And I think you could fairly say he is the second most powerful man in Japan. Uh, and he represents uh, a very sort of hard right uh, sort of pr pro rearmament sort of position. He's a, he is a controversial figure uh, who basically uh, you know uh, is and he's very vocal. Even though he is not in the government, he's often sort of trying to push the government to to adopt his political policies, uh, which which are generally sort of hard conservative policies. So he is uh, you know even though he doesn't hold office and even though he's a former prime minister, he's an enormously uh, influential person uh, in Japan, uh, even without the, the prime minister's title.